There's no way of knowing where we are going to load up with the crude oil. That is Belma's secret. The danger about this whole thing is that since it's night, some drivers can be, some poor drivers can be very risky. There's the fact that you might not know the road very properly, you might not know the route very properly. And if you don't know it too properly, you might there might be a headlong collision. And Lives can be lost that way. The other threat is from military patrols, but using force to escape isn't necessary, as Belma has a magic pass. You have to do that. We pay the surveillance, we pay the military people, so that you can get your consignment and go safely. If you don't pay them, they get you and they arrest you. You go to a houseboat, they might take you from there and, and put you in cell. The pipeline to the refinery is a few kilometers further on, on land that belongs to this man. He's secretly siphoning off part of the flow of crude oil, which he sells to the smugglers in the area. This is the owner of this point. He works here. He was able to open the manifold. It belongs to him. Okay. You can see the manifold is right there. You now line this hose to the water here. Liberating some of the precious fuel means diving. The mud hides the opening. You see the pressure? You see the pressure? You see the pressure? You see it? So this is the crude oil. This is what we come to buy. Most of the traffickers have no tanks or containers, so they simply fill the small boats to the brim. You see? Look at the boats. They want to now. They want to now sell. Who is the owner of this petrol? Shell couldn't respect the MOU, so the people of this place have to chase them away. So at the moment, it belongs to the people of this land. It takes less than 10 minutes to fill it with 5,000 litres. The boat, now filled with oil, is rowed back. There's no question of risking an explosion from sparks from their ancient outboard engines. Belmer is selling an increasing amount of fuel. He needs large quantities of crude oil, so he's had a huge barge built. It was filled the previous night, but it's so heavy that it takes three days to reach the campsite. That contains 10,000 litres. Consider what we have in the arena of our business or in the sphere of our business. This one is a very big one. 